What is up guys, I'm Steven Womack. Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. I think it's about time to really nail that film look now by adding those vintage film frames around your picture, the Kodak Portra 400, or for black and white, the Kodak TX frames. I've created a lot of those frames for you to just overlay over your pictures to make them look real. Uh, the link is under this video. Check out my website. You can also find presets and a whole bunch of other stuff. But in this video, I want to show you how to use those frames that I've created for you guys. Before we start, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. Also, follow me on Instagram at Stephen Womack. I always like to get in touch with you guys and get some of your ideas for my next videos. So just Get in touch with me on Instagram, and I think I've said enough. Let's jump right into that film frame, film border tutorial. So, first of all, you will need an app. It's free, it's by Google, and it's called Slides, Google Slides, it's a presentation app. And once you've downloaded that app, the link for the app is also under this video. Uh, you open up the app, of course, and then you hit that plus sign on the bottom right and create a new presentation. Just let's name it frame in this case. We'll create it and then we want to get rid of those boxes right here. So we hit them and we say delete. Also second one, delete. And now what you want to do is hit that plus on the upper right and add an image from photos. And this is where you choose your image. Um, I chose this picture because it's it has that vintage look already, that film look. And I've also created frames where you can add more than one picture since I've seen that a lot on real film. So in this case, I'm using a double frame so I can choose another picture. So I choose from photos, just this filler picture right here that also looks uh, like a film picture, has that film look. Um, and I'll just slide it under this one and I'll resize it and um, then I hit the plus and now I want to add the frame. It's important to add that frame at last because you want it to be over your pictures. So we hit image from photos and we choose that picture that we want to use. In this case, it's that double frame right here. And now all you have to do is just pull it over the two pictures that you have in there already and zoom a little bit and make sure that you put it in the in the right position right here a little down up you have to just figure out that right position right there zoom out a little bit and click outside or tap outside of the picture so we get rid of that blue frame now zoom in and once you have it all lined up in your in your frame we take a screenshot and now we edit that screenshot, just cut away everything outside of that frame. Here we go, right there. All right, and then we're done. Save to photos. And now we've created that amazing film look, that film frame. Uh, here's an example of what we just did. And the special thing about those frames that I've created for you is that usually it says the name of the app on the side, but in this case, those are real film frames. So they really say Kodak on the side and uh, Kodak Portra 400 or Kodak TX for, for black and white pictures. So this is as real as it gets and I think it would really upgrade your pictures that you take and will really get you in that next level towards real film look. So have fun with this. You can find all of the frames on my website. Link is below. Once again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Also, check me out on Instagram. My handle is at Stephen Womack. I'd love to hear from you guys. Hope this was good content and I'm really excited to see you guys get creative with those frames I've created. See you next time. Peace.